now that I painted it, it could do other things. Like you go to filters and you could do effects on it. This is filter effects. So it's like, um, you could do like 3D effects like beveling right here. And that means it's like it's a 3D metal object or something. 3D metal object filter effect. <clears throat> like like it looks like metal, you know, or a mirror, something like that. That's what it's mostly called. It. If I got the picture right, you could change like the shadow opacity, the highlight opacity, which like either you want to dark all the way or just want to light all the way or even without the dark but like i keep it a balance at least just keep it mostly light but i'd at least balance the shadow of it and it will go like this and i just deselect you know and that's how this one is made now for here since it's just um like a big thing right here. Hang on, let me go this. You see that right there, blue thing? Usually it would go down like this. So like, if I erase the parts of it, it's just selecting an object instead of the other parts because there's no other parts that are part of the object itself. Now here that I did this, I'm gonna shrink it down you know what? Sometimes you can even add a noise filter. So let me go back. This is filter right here, details. And then you go add noise. Just like that. It's kind of like a cement. But usually I would do it. I would usually do it before I even go to bevel. And sometimes even drop shadow. Which I don't do on this one. But that's going to be next. Well, hold up. Okay, I just added a layer. I thought I didn't know what to do. Okay. So I'm going to paint this one. I'm going to make this one a little sample object. Well, yeah, I'm changing the shapes. Okay, so right here. I'm going to make this one white. I'm just showing you things right here so that you could take a look. I kind of like things a little cool. And this, this one's kind of like a flowery shape. So I'm going to do noise. And then I'm going to bevel. There you go. Also, don't forget right here, the depth. So that if you want to see some bevel effects on it or you don't. You just want the regular piece itself. Well, before I even do that, actually, I'm going to duplicate it and just overpaint it. So, like, you could pour the... This one is the tool to pour the paint on the object. <clears throat> That's where my voice is not going well. I don't know why. And right here, I could just go here, shrink it down, and then I'm going to do drop shadow well hang on i'm going to duplicate it this one drop shadow i look at my layers and just think if i want to do some realistic shadowing on a piece then i got to be careful do some drop shadow effects on it and the opacity of the shadow Okay, we'll leave it like this. So you could change the shadow of it, the opacity, anything like that. And then I'm just going to duplicate it. I mean, not duplicate. I'm going to merge layers to it. 